Hi, it's Yvonne again, and I am here with a really special lady. Um, she is a fellow villager. That's how I met her. And she has been in the health and wellness business for over 20 years. She had a private practice. She was a chiropractor. Um, and she now came to the villages, I think, to retire, like most people do. We've really come a long way in this, in this industry. Um, and so I brought her on because she is an expert in this field. And I just want to introduce her. This is Rosemary Bo, And she is going to talk to us about her awesome experience as a wellness coach. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And um, so, Rosemary, you know, everybody wants to know um, about your history because I'm sure when people come to seek your advice, they like to know that you're the expert, right? I mean, that's how people are. Absolutely. So um, if you could just tell us about your, your history, your chiropractor, your business, how you got into the chiropractor would be great. How did you decide to be a chiropractor? Awesome. Yeah. So thank you, first of all, for inviting mm -hmm. me here today and to share with you guys. And uh, so my story goes back to, oh my gosh, I was way before my 40s. And okay. my, my husband <clears throat> had a bad um, back and okay. ended up on his back in bed for over a month. Oh, wow, and yeah. I ended up taking him to a chiropractor. And within a week, she got him back to work. And for me, I was a mom with three little kids. Okay. And it was, um, it was so desperate because I would stay at home and I didn't know if he was ever going to go back to work. Wow. Okay. So I actually um, took him to this chiropractor and it was that last resort after all the doctors and she got him back to work. And I, I just... realized right then and there, this is something I'd love to do. And so I decide, I asked him, I said, do you think it's something I could do? And he says, I don't see why not. Well, that got the ball rolling. Right. And I ended up going back to school, college, chiropractic college. It took me seven years. I was one of the oldest in my class, okay. my graduating class, but it didn't matter. And I started my own practice from the ground up with zero patients in New York. Okay, awesome. And um, so I built the practice with the help of my brother. And um, he was a contractor. Okay, <laughs> so, so he helped put it together, help. right? Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. And then we opened, I opened the practice. I um, had no patients. And then my first patient walked in the door and she was over, I would say, oh my gosh, I don't know how, how much she weighed, but she was large. And I was like, oh my goodness, how am I going to do this? This is my first Patient, right. And you're, right? I mean, you're not a, 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 she, a big person. So I was yeah, probably, and you have to manipulate people. It's all technique. And, yeah. and I realized, uh, you know, I could help her. And after that, she became my patient for life. And until awesome. I left, she was my patient. Wow. So you always remember your first patient. I think so. Yeah. I, but it, then my daughter, 10 years later, joined me in the practice. Fantastic. So she went to chiropractic school and um, she joined me. And then my mom, I pulled her out of retirement and she became my receptionist. And, I love and that. I, I love family business. So we were family business. I love that. And in 2008, when um, the economy was okay, yeah, going crazy and right. the were recession losing jobs came in and, and whatnot, that. and our business started to uh, feel the crunch, I was looking for something that would help the finances of the practice, but also help my patients because I noticed over the years that many patients were overweight and obese. And they needed help. Right. Yes. So a colleague of mine introduced me to this amazing health program. And uh, I became a coach. Okay. And what I realized was It was a perfect fit for you. Being, perfect you fit. Mean, I mean, because chiropractic, Gabby and I are both involved uh -huh. in chiropractic. We, we mm -hmm. actually, Gabby was um, a very sick child, wow. allergic to everything. Mm -hmm. And... Of course, all they want to throw at you is steroids and all these things. And, and not that they don't have their place, mm -hmm. but I just thought there has to be a better way. Right. So we went that route of, of you know, awesome. acupuncture. And then we ended up in chiropractic because I ended. So we, I completely get it. And the whole weight problem in America is, is a serious problem. I experienced that weight problem my own self. Yeah. Um, 
It is serious. And it is. <clears throat> and it's, a, it's, it, it's probably the number one uh, health problem in America. Well, yes. Uh, I think it's overtaking smoking as the number one. So um, and I'd say about 70% of Americans are either overweight and obese, and about 30% of children are overweight and obese. And now we have type 2 diabetes, which used to be adult onset diabetes. Now they renamed it to type 2 because little kids are getting diabetes yeah. for no reason because they're overweight. Yep. This unhealthy lifestyle. So it's a lifestyle. huge problem. And my patients didn't even realize that they were obese until sure. I'd ask them to step on the scale and take a look at the body mass index chart. And, and I'd say, are you in the healthy range? And they would go, oh, I'm in the obese range, but my doctor never told me. You know, I didn't know. And, and then they don't know what to and do. So now I had a program I could help them. That's awesome. And what I loved because because I, chiropractor <laughs> really is a whole body thing whole anyway, body, right? I mean, when you adjust, mm -hmm. it's not just yes. for your back or your Absolutely. neck or whatever. It it helps just like your whole body exactly. to reset itself. Like you, if you're having some type of a, correct immune issue or whatever, it help reset all. You that. help your nervous system function at its best. Right. 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 But sometimes. The outside influences are also a problem. So when people are going to the fast food places and they're putting on the weight, those are some things that need to be addressed from the outside. Right. So right. this was a great solution for me. But I also decided to get on the program myself because I was going through menopause and I was ending up with rolls around my middle that I right. never knew. And because I was skinny my whole life and this right, was foreign that's what to happens, me. Right. right? <laughs> so, um, so I put my cell phone program first. And my daughter too, because she had a baby, so she wanted so to get rid of that, that extra, extra, extra baby weight and get a little healthier. Yes, and, and so the two of us started, and within like the first week, I noticed increased energy, right? Decreased inflammation. Oh in my yes, joints. that's amazing. That and, right there is amazing. And I was like, "What is this? This cannot be just the food that I'm eating." And um, by the end of the week, my mom showed up at our door like this and said, so when are you going to become a coach so that you can help me? Wow. We didn't know she needed help. And so she became my first client. Oh, I love that. So that is a fantastic story. We kind of jumped story. into it. And, and so my mom needed to lose 35 pounds. She ended up losing her 35 pounds. The doctor took her off her blood pressure medications at those, in those days. Fantastic. She was 75 when she started. Wow. So she's now um, 89. Mm -hmm. and, and doing she, well. She literally told her cardiologist if she wasn't on this program, she would be dead already. Wow. And that was like, oh my God. Right, you know? that's fantastic. So my mom lives with us here Oh, in the okay, villages. so you all are yeah. together, okay. So, so when I came here in, um, for, for, for real, to live here permanently in August of 2019, I started to rethink and, you know, I retired from chiropractic and I started to rethink my position, my new position as right, a retired, retired person. person. And, yeah. and I took away the coaching out of the equation. And in my head, I was like, no, 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 I can't do that. There are so many people that need help. And I have a passion for helping people. So this is a perfect fit for me. Right. I'm going to continue to do it until I can't do it anymore. And so here in the villages, I mean, people looking to be vibrant and looking to do things and be active. Right. And of course, go out to eat with their friends and party and all and, that. Too. Yeah, dance. I mean, dancing. Right. Like I was, dance. we were out last right. night for the big, you know, big after hours dance party. I mean, I'm sure there was too much drinking going on there, which is not good. But you know, I would say there's a lot of people that don't go and drink there. Like they just right. go to do the dancing. Right. Like for me, we go and I love to dance. That's yeah. like the best exercise for me because I don't feel like I'm exercising. Yeah, exactly. So I love to do that. I like that. that too. I'm not good at it, but I, I, I don't. Know, I don't. I don't have no claim to fame either. But I don't really care. <laughs> it's the villages. Nobody cares. It's true. So, in but the villages, people love cares. doing this. I exactly. met a lady just the other day. It's the bouncy boots. I saw those people too. She's like 72 years old, That's and amazing. she looks fantastic like right. i i could probably find a, it would be hard for me to find a 30 year old that looked as good as this lady did yeah and that's because she's such an active person she cares about her that's health right. she's made this part of her main focus that's right and i mean she was doing splits oh Rosemary. splits 72 i was God just like her. oh my gosh <laughs> this is so amazing she goes you want to try them she goes 
don't be intimidated. I said, this whole thing is intimidating wow. me. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I was yeah, like, yeah. look at me. I'm a lot younger than you. This is not I good. Know. I need to get busy. Yeah. So I can see that you would probably get a lot of people that um, needed it. When you got here, you were just looking around and like, well, I can the help thing these is, people. Yeah. I can really help them. Yeah. And, and you know what? I just go out and I share. Right. I'm not selling. I'm just sharing. I'm sharing what I have. And then if they choose to right. do the program with me, you know, that's awesome. And a lot of times they're very surprised how easy it is once they make the decision to do it. But our program is so much more than weight loss. It's not just weight loss. Right. And I think once they start to get the coaching, they start to realize all the parts. Yes. They realize that, wow, this is not just a weight loss program. It is health and wellness, right? Well, it's, we have four, kind of... four parts okay, to our program. Okay. So every single person that does it gets a free health coach. That will be me. Okay. And then the second part is we have community. So by plugging people into a healthy community, they become like that healthy community. Okay. And here in the village, so, it's perfect. It fits the whole village right. and idea. We have, and we have like uh, Facebook groups where we plug them into. And also our company gives us support. Oh, wow. So we have Zoom calls where they like get any more updates. Help. You know, I know, <clears throat> and, and you problems. have so much to offer because you already have that healthcare background. Yeah. You have all that knowledge. Where you know, I, I think a lot of people get into this health and wellness, but they don't really have mm -hmm. the background. <clears throat> and you know, not that it's a bad thing, but I mean, for me to have somebody that has your mm -hmm. education, your experience in the healthcare field is 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 it's, just an added plus. It's an added. But you don't need to be a chiropractor or a doctor or any health care physician Personnel. or person to do coaching. So I'm right. always reaching out to people. Let's say they want to increase their income or they want to just help people that have purpose in their life. That have done it themselves and they feel they very... They can do this. Yes, okay. they can totally do this. Awesome. And they can make an impact. So the impact, you know, we want to have just is, such a quality. It's all about quality have a of life. Wave of people passing yeah. it forward. Awesome. So that's what I'm trying to create. Oh, here, that's beautiful. Is the wave I love of that. People that get healthy and pass it forward. I really love that. I you really know? do. So we, I said two parts. So the coach, the uh, edu the um, community, then we have an educational piece, which is top notch. Oh, and okay. They do just five minutes of reading in their journal and writing. Oh, and I see. To kind of guided. reset their it's guided. thought. So they're going to learn everything they need to know to be healthy. And then the mindset absolutely works on the mind. And then the fourth okay. part is the uh, healthy eating plan that I'm going to put them on and to get to their goal weight and dream weight. Because sometimes I dream weave with people. What do you really want? Like, yeah, you want to lose 20 pounds, but what do you really want? Because let's face it, nobody asks you what you want. True. No one sits with you and says, so tell me about this. When did you feel great last time? Right. How old were you? What types of things did you do? And what's your goal weight? And what's your dream weight? Wow. And what yeah. can you do when you get to that dream weight? You know, so these are the questions I ask them when I do my health assessment. With okay. Them. So they, they like that. Yeah. And I have just a little jot form I put on. Um, okay. I send to them or I put it on my social media okay. and... They can just click on that, fill it out, and then I get in touch with them. Okay. All right. That's really awesome. Like I, I when I met you was with the working women's, the um, yes. women business owners yes. group. Yes. And um, in the villages, there is so many ladies that have, are like Rosemary. <laughs> they have so much to offer. It's amazing. Like I have met some of the most amazing ladies there. I was just there the other day, met this gerontologist. She started telling me this program that she's putting together, just exercise. That's all she's doing That's is awesome. exercise. Awesome. I mean, it, it's free. If you're living in the village, you just go over I there know. to the social um, rec, rec center and you can take her exercise class. That's I don't awesome. think it, you know, to purchase that kind of expertise is really, so the mm -hmm. villages, there's some amazing people here oh, yeah. that do some amazing stuff. And I really, I, I, I never thought I'd like living here as much as I do. How about you? What do you think? Do well, you I like came here, here kicking and screaming. Oh, because did my you? Husband, yeah, my husband really loved it here because we rented for a month. Okay. And by week four, we started looking at houses. We bought our first house, a villa um, first, and then we spent one um, winter here. 
Okay. And went back to, we lived in New Jersey at that time, and we went back to New Jersey and put our house on the market. And then we came back the same year okay. and had to look for another house. Something bigger. Something bigger because <laughs> my mom lives with us. Yeah, oh, yeah, and, definitely. you know, we need our space. Oh, absolutely, there, right? absolutely. So and then when you have family. Everybody come. needs, yeah, yeah, everybody needs space, yeah. Awesome. So and that's so, how we got here. And, and then, then COVID hit, and then I didn't meet a, a soul. Oh, and, wow. And then, like you said, we have these groups, Facebook groups even, right, that right. we started uh, during COVID, and it started to meet people one by one with masks on, and yeah, we yeah. started to walk, thank and some of them became my great friends now. Oh, you know? awesome. So, so thank goodness. So now I love it. Thank, thank goodness yeah. this is kind of all going away now. Yeah, so, so now I love it. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a great story. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that story with us. It oh, really welcome. was an awesome story. And I just want to ask you a little bit, since you have this wealth of knowledge, there's so many, and I know a lot of people struggle with this. You, you go to, I was just at Barnes and Noble mm -hmm. and you go to the health or the health mm -hmm. area. There's rows of diets, right. books on this, that <laughs> it just is never ending. Right. Um, my husband and I, we were very overweight and I was never really overweight mm -hmm. um, until, I don't know, it's just, I, w I just didn't, I was just eating junky. There was mm -hmm. just no other way to explain it. Like mm -hmm. I was just, didn't care. I ate whatever I wanted. Menopause came on. That didn't work so good anymore. Right. You know, when I was younger, I could eat anything. It didn't matter. Right. Uh, not so much. So between the two of us, we started our journey in the middle of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. When everybody was gaining weight, we were on this this trek right. to do something different because his blood pressure was right. off the chart. He was very, very mm -hmm. unhealthy. So together, I think as of today, it's been almost three years now, we lost probably 120 pounds together, like That's above awesome. the two of us. So That's I've awesome. lost, I've lost quite a bit. Wow. I could use a few more, but mm -hmm. um, again, my joints don't hurt. It, the light, forget the weight thing, how it looks. Right. It's the inside that I find right. the best of it all. Like, okay, yeah, the clothes look better, but I feel a lot better. That's right. I had more high heels and probably because of my back, I probably had more high heels and probably a good eight years. Mm -hmm. Now I can wear them whenever I want to. Yeah. Because I don't hurt like that. Exactly. Because I was just carrying way too much weight. And also the sugar. Sugar, the I don't sugar do that. inflames your joints. Yes, the whole thing. So, Gluten. Yeah. I mean, but we went at the time, um, we went on a keto diet. Mm -hmm. Um, and then for me, I would do like an intermittent fasting because I've always had a very s s low appetite for the most part. I just was eating too junky. Mm -hmm. um, and as I got on the really low carbs, I didn't find myself very hungry. So I was like, I ha we had a coach and she was like, it's okay. Just make sure you get, you know, so many calories in because you, you know, you don't want your body to end up in a fat, in a, um, starvation mode. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so I would do it that way. Now he couldn't because his blood sugar would just drop mm -hmm. too far. <laughs> so, um, but that's one new trend that's been coming around and it keeps coming back around the paleo diet. Um, what do you think about all those kind of things? Well, you know, we know that people can lose weight with many different diets. Okay. So the key, the difference is, between what I do and when you read yes. the books and you follow, is that we have those four parts, which are so important to keep the weight off. Uh, <clears throat> lifestyle change. Because you're learning in the process, you're learning how to be the dominant force in your life. I how see. to take charge of everything that you do. And so it's not just what you put in your mouth, it's also how do you deal with people? Like oh. what are your responses when somebody attacks you, right? How do right. you respond? Like it's just a whole it's the whole body whole thing. body thing. body it's mind spirit kind mostly of a thing. mind most of it is in your mind so unless you create new healthy habits which is what we do we install them through our program okay if you don't do that you are automatically going to default back to the old habits once the diet is done i see because what happens is when you do things over time and it takes maybe 60 something days i forget the exact number but you do something like that every day, it becomes intrinsic. It becomes part of you, right? So now you don't have to think about it anymore. It's like you're brushing your teeth in the morning. You don't think about it. You just show up and you put your toothbrush in your hand and you go, right? You don't have to say, 
oh, it's time to brush my teeth. Right. right. Yeah, it's just, so it's just routine. You get out, habits, you just do everything. When you install them over time in small increments, like little bit of habits over time, they become part of you. And so when you then finish your weight loss, you'll continue your habits because they're now part of you. Does that make sense? It makes sense, yeah. Because that's, that's how it happened with us. Like we, right. we, we are still, like just the other night, we were out to dinner and he said, I think I'm going to have the potato. I said, no, I don't want the carbs. Mm -hmm. So I got vegetables and stuff. Yes. I'm already, you know, I always are thinking, you know, I had, I had yeah. some carbs yesterday, too much maybe. Um, I think I'll just have vegetables and, awesome. and a piece of chicken or whatever it was. Yeah. You know, so it's become a habit for us, like complete. Like we do no, the good thing is no, we're blessed. We are both allergic to gluten. Mm -hmm. We found this in this journey. Mm -hmm. So we don't touch it. Right. I don't touch it right. because it, it, will, it will make me sick. Right. <laughs> My right. daughter, Gabby too. Right. She's very allergic to it. Mm. So I think we're just poisoned by it. It's in everything too much. Mm -hmm. I because as a kid I'd have the problem, but yeah. yeah. Um so I, I understand that lifestyle thing because I don't think we would have stayed on it if it wouldn't have just been now that we could really uh make it part of our life. Right. And also eating every two and a half to three hours is so important to keep that blood sugar level stable. And everyone needs that. People start to ignore the hunger feelings and just go past it, right? And not eat all day and then have that one meal. But by the time they get to that meal, they're starving, right? Right. They're just shoving it in there, right? And then right. they're in starvation mode. So that one meal is just going to go right on them. So when you're eating frequently, your body learns to burn it and your blood sugar levels stay even. They don't spike. They don't drop. So that's gotcha. important. So even for diabetics, it's... The, the ideal way to eat and they right. know it you know yeah because i think that's part of their training everyone. but they just don't they i always don't, tell my they clients, don't really help them i think a lot of times they go to these people they give them this diet and mm -hmm. they just send them on exactly. they don't really they don't guide them, them along the yeah. way which it sounds like your program really helps guide them mm -hmm. almost every day they can get on facebook and ask us a million mm -hmm. questions mm -hmm. about whatever they're doing or not doing mm -hmm. right because you said it's they touch community on me. they okay. just they just come to me the text or whatever okay yeah all right yeah so that's really, that's really, that, I think that's the key because I know, um, Gabby actually went to dietetic school. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, most diabetics, for example, a lot of them, it's not that they don't want to follow the diet. Mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of them have the instruction, the know-how. I think we're, as a country, we're just kind of nutritionally Challenged. ignorant. Yes. We, we just don't get it. Like, yes. I think the pyramid and the fast thing food and the, history, fast food, oh, no. the fast food industry doesn't help us. No, and, and just restaurants. Yeah. You know, we, when we started on this journey ourselves, we would sit there and then we started watching yeah. how carb heavy and not, not like carbs like tomatoes. No, no. Right. Carbs like macaroni and cheese, right. you know, right. and everything like that, that really doesn't have much nutritional value. And that's what they were loading up on mm -hmm. is the stuff that it, it really wasn't giving them much if it wasn't fortified they were getting absolutely nothing right well our food industry is not helping us yeah and our restaurants they're just giving us huge portions of the cheap things right right when you go to a fancy restaurant you're never going to get a huge portion of anything no no it's going to be your you know small portion of protein and then some other sides yep. but it's going to look the way it should look on everyone's plate right but yet people don't feel like satisfied unless they see a huge portion show up of anything That's and it could true. be just tons of french fries with your burger or whatever but the cheap stuff that shows up you know yes. the rice the Things, things that, things things that, that doesn't really, it just doesn't have to, right. any value right. for you. Yeah. It doesn't give you energy. It really, it, it's a very short energy. Mm -hmm. um, I know if I don't, uh, and honestly, I always had bad e eating habits. I worked way too much. Yeah. I was in, I worked in healthcare and nursing yeah. homes and hospitals. There wasn't much time for yeah. lunch. Yeah. I would just blow right through lunch. And then when I would eat, I wasn't eating good stuff. I was just eating whatever I could get. Yeah. in a fast hurry you know yeah. maybe not fast food but it might as well then yeah you know yeah. um so i can see and, and we've come a long ways in the u.s with this at we least we have a long way to go but we have a long way to go <clears throat> yeah. yeah so far i mean i've impacted hundreds of people yeah i know you, I, I see do. your success stories all and, the time and some of the people that you see uh, are not necessarily my clients but they are clients 
who have done this program and who are passing it forward so that okay. they can inspire others. So they allow us to share. So we oh, want to share beautiful. all the different stories because these are the people that, that some coach out there is helping. That's awesome. Right? So, um, and yes, I have lots of clients in the villages and, yeah. um, and maybe you would hopefully. like to share just one success story. Like what was a person that really impacted you to, you know, give you that encouragement to keep going? Was there a person that did that? Mm. Like, was there, uh, like they were very unhealthy with a lot of health problems or very, um, debilitated, you know, physically. Anything well, my like mom that? was that, my mom oh, was, she was that, that definitely, person? she was okay. that person because you know what? I looked at her and thinking back, right? She was 75. How many people here are 75? True. Right? That could, like she's now 89, she's going to hit 90 soon. Wow. Like what if that could extend their life, right? Yeah, and that so, quality and of the quality. It. So now I reach out to the doctors in this community. Okay. And ask them to become coaches because they have all the people in that, their office yeah, that them. need it. And it makes their life simpler to manage those patients when they get healthy. Oh, that's awesome. So I'm looking to get a lot more doctors on board. Oh, that's, that's yeah. great. Yeah. That's really great. That's really amazing. Like I, I knew when I started following you on Facebook and I started, I was like, Oh my goodness. And I looked at the program and I'm like, Oh, I'm the worst eater in the world. Like I am not, a person that eat, and I'm thinking, I don't think I could eat that many times in a day. You'd be but surprised. then when you kind of, we talked about You'd that just surprised. a little bit the last time yeah. I at the meeting. And even being gluten free, it makes your life so much easier because there's so many gluten free options. Yeah, that's what that's what you showed me, like a little yeah, a little snack yeah. or something. I'm thinking I have to sit down and have this meal. No, you know no, what no, I'm no, just no, like, no, I cannot no, do. No, no. And no, I don't see myself following it. Yeah, you know, you know your habits, yes. your personality. Exactly. Thinking, I can't be sitting around eating all day. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I, I appreciate that I talked to you about that. And I you know, I was able to see on your um, Facebook page, mm -hmm. you know, people talking about oh, yeah. all of those And things. I love the community. Like when I see people posting their food, yes. that they're cooking, yes. you know, it's amazing how people are starting to take the pieces that we give them and they put together a healthy meal. And then they take a picture of it and post it. Because they're, like, they're excited. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I think people are, you know, people are excited when they start feeling better. Like my husband, he hasn't got off his heart, um, blood pressure medicine yet, mm -hmm. but that is his goal. That's awesome. Um, but he that's is, goal. he, he has a really bad back. He's had, he was in a mm -hmm. bad accident. So the weight is killing him, his yeah. back. It's, yeah. It is killing him in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, but even that just getting off as much weight as he's gotten off already, it, it is day and night that's difference. That's like awesome. he used to just want to sit. Now we're never home. Yeah. That's wonderful. Because <laughs> we're always going somewhere, you know? Yeah. And the thing about the villages is you drive the golf cart, then you walk over here, then you walk over there, right. go to the square, dance. Right. You know, I'll go to the pool. He'll go and hit some balls at Nancy Lopez, mm -hmm. you know, so he's active. Yeah. So he's not sitting there anymore. That's Every awesome. once in a while he sits around and then he'll say, I'm going to go for a ride. Like, let's get out of here. You know, so yeah. I'm, I'm excited about that. So and that's really the point is to yes. live your best life. Yes. Right. You want to get to a point where you don't have to worry about all these health issues that are weight related. Yes. It's things you have control over. Right. Yes. There are many things you don't have control over. But sure. when you do have, you have the some control, things you take can. charge and then live your best life. Yeah, definitely. Like I, you know? I had knee, I haven't had a knee. I, I mm -hmm. dance like almost at least four times a week i am dancing yeah, like last night i awesome. danced solid probably for two hours it's great three years ago my knees would never take it yeah my back would not take it either yeah yeah you know what so i mean you're like living it's your just, best life yeah definitely that's awesome and, and it was fun we enjoyed it you know and i feel healthier and you're vibrant you yeah, can see that. I, I, yeah i like it and awesome. um i want to take some if i had more time it wasn't working <laughs> yes. i might do some more yeah. dance classes or something but i haven't i haven't taken that yeah. plunge yet i yes. have lots of other things to do uh -huh. so well i want to thank you so much for sharing your story You're sharing welcome. your wealth of knowledge um it's been a pleasure and i know that everybody out there is going to be very glad that they watched because i think they'll learn a lot just from all that you shared with us and i really thank appreciate you. it thank um, you for having me all right thank you all right well we'll see you guys next time um we are going to We'll be back next week. Um, I have another lady 
that also is here in the villages that is a business owner and uh, she's going to be a lot to a lot of fun too so you guys stay tuned and uh, have a great day